Now let's take a look at how to apply a range of timing to channels. Let's say group eight at full. And we'll record this as Q3. Now I'm gonna turn those fixtures off and record that as Q4. Here, I'm going to say group eight time zero through eight, enter. So just like when we do a range of intensities, this is going to divide our times evenly between the channels in that group. I do need to update this information so that my T's aren't red anymore. Update, enter. And now I can go back a queue and press go and we can see what happens. So this group was written from stage right to stage left. And because I applied the time using group eight, that's the order in which the times will be applied. Again, to see those times, we can hold about and press time and I can see exactly what the timing is on each fixture. Now let's take a look at fan timing across color parameters as opposed to intensity. Let's take group 20 to full. Now these are the same fixtures we used a moment ago, but group 20 has them recorded in a different order than group eight. And we'll see why that's important in just a moment. Let's put those in color palette one. Here, and we'll record that as Q5. Now let's put those same fixtures, so select last in color palette six. And we'll record that as Q6. Now in Q6, we want to add a discrete delay across those channels. So to do that, we'll say group 20 color, which I can post that on the command line using my tiles in the CIA, press my color button, delay zero through eight, enter. Those little red T's are back, so I need to update enter to make sure I store that information. Now let's look at what that did for us. We'll go back one queue, and now when I press go, all of these fixtures are gonna fade in five seconds because that is our color time, but they're all going to delay using their discrete timing that we just assigned. Again, we can hold about and press time to see those delays. You'll notice on our red, green, and blue parameter values, we have numbers in that range on the front side, indicating there's a discrete delay on those parameters.